All right, Daddy Jack's Coco the Blues here, and uh, we have Kathy Adamson. Dave, come over here, Dave. Uh, our friends, our friends from Ottawa, Canada. I can't believe it. I uh, came all the way down to visit us here. They've been watching. Uh, now, who does all the videos? Dave what cooks. Dave yes. watches it. Do you cook some off the videos or no? I eat. No, eat. Okay. I'm and a uh, <laughs> well, Kathy, we just did a previously. We just did a, a blueberry pie. Kathy Adamson's Ottawa, Canada, new a blueberry pie. It's, you got to check that video out, but. Kathy, we had uh, she she uh, graciously enough made me another pie crust, and I'm going to show you how to make a uh, ricotta heirloom tomato uh, cheese pie. Okay, so here's the crust, and uh, you you want to just finish it off so we can. Uh, well, uh, you want to put a crimped edge on it? Can you sure. do that? Yep. That'd so be great. this is going to be baked as a pie shell. Yep. Or are you going to put the ingredients? No, it's going to be it? open, open. Uh, so do you cook it with everything inside? Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. Great. My little knife. What Kitchen. do you need that? Just the, uh, the little knife. The, uh... Uh, the, the knife, uh, Josh? Yeah. Just give it, uh, okay. So we're going to do the same thing. Make a fancy edge yeah. of this one. Same idea. Just give it a little bit of Build up thickness. The side. A little bit of thickness. And, um, It'll make it look quite pretty. Okay. Scraps. I don't put it over the edge. I think yep. that make make it burn. So easier to serve too, probably the slice. That's true. Sure. All right, let me get it nice and uniform. I grew up, my mother was a great pie pie maker. She learned from her grandma, Jones. She used to go there on the weekends and taught her how to bake. And uh, she made all pies and, and cakes for us. And so we were, we were, we were real lucky. You know, that it's kind of a lost art, but I, I, I have a feeling it might be coming back, right? People are, Tired of eating out, and they they want to eat at home, and they know the health conscious, the quality of the food they're putting in. And how am I doing? Pretty good. Well, it's, the stove feels pretty pretty incredible. You never want to overwork pastry, though. <laughs> it's a light touch. That's a. Uh, I'm anxious to see how the gas oven works. Oh, uh, it should work fine. Yeah. Hey, not bad, Kathy, right? Pretty good, yeah. That's All good. right, so we'll take a break and I'm going to get the rest of the ingredients together. We'll be right back. Back to Daddy Jack's going with the blues here. Kathy's pie crust going in the oven just about five minutes. Pre baking for about five minutes. Now we'll go make the Okay, uh, a little bit of ricotta cheese, garlic powder, chopped parsley, of course we're going to put some fresh garlic, and uh, one egg, open at five, five o'clock, thank you. Okay, and then uh, put a little bit of red pepper flake. Just a little bit. And then some tarragon, a little bit. All right, whatever fresh herb, if you got uh, thyme or any kind of fresh herb, basil if you want to put it in. Parmesan. Of course, Dave, as Dave knows, green onions. OK. 
Okay. That's our filling that laid out in the bottom of the pot. Now these are beautiful. These are uh, Bob, you're a farmer from way back, right? Oh yeah. Bob, Bob and his dad and mom ran a herb farm in uh, South Windsor, next town over from Vernon, where I'm from. And uh, so he knows his way around. But these are so beautiful. Look at the different patterns of them. Uh, you got uh, just the colors, the nature, you know, it's just incredible, right? And uh, this is a Four Mile River Farm. It's a recent digger out in uh, Digger, out in, uh, uh, not Four Mile River, Huntsbrook Farms, excuse me. Uh, Four Mile River does the meat, uh, Nunzio and uh, Irene out there. And, uh, uh, but uh, Huntsbrook is fantastic. Now they're in the peak of the tomato season. Went out there yesterday, picked these up. And uh, so, like I said, you know, you core them out. And uh, like I said, stick. See, these are these are kind of awkward here uh, because of the shape. So just uh, like I said, put your thumb in the knife. That way you don't waste any of the. One one uh, one thing I hate is to uh, see people waste food or waste produce. They cut the top off a tomato or a strawberries, and you know you should use. Uh, look at that. You should use every bit. Pie crust out. Kind of hard to handle it when you got the crimped edge, huh? Like, oh, see, I screwed it up. But I guess that had to be the piece that I'm going to eat. Uh, so I'm going to put a, uh, my ricotta in the bottom. Now this is a creation now. I thought about it this morning. Josh and I sit on the porch having a coffee, and uh, some farmers here that made the uh, they used to bring me the. Uh, I hadn't seen them this summer yet. They gave me the idea for this uh, tomato pie. Hey, Bob. Hey, Josh. Yeah. Grab that orange folder. Okay. Kathy, you might have, might have to give you uh, some of this uh, to eat on your way home, driving back tonight up to Canada, up to Ottawa. How many hour trip? Um, almost eight. Okay. All right, Josh. Uh, okay, so. Okay, then we're gonna, we'll be right back. All right, so now, we got, the, we got the ricotta in the bottom, tomatoes on top, seasoned them. And this is what he told me. Uh, mayonnaise. Okay. Heavy cream. And good old bacon, fried up bacon. I added a little bit of, I left a little bit of bacon grease in there. Everything's good with bacon grease. Coarse green onions. Chopped parsley and uh, just a little bit of salt, and pepper. You know, the just to really season the cream because the uh, mayonnaise has got plenty of flavor.
I don't know. What do you think, Kathy? Looks interesting, if nothing else, right? <laughs> that's just what I said. Dave? Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it's huh? going to be good. But that's all going to seep into well, the Well, I guess, you know, like the, like uh, your blueberry pie, you know, we start with good ingredients. It's got to gotta taste good, right? Okay. And then uh, I think we're going to hit it with a little bit of... Uh, A little bit of parm. A little bit of my blackened seasoning. Okay? Alright. Hey. Experimentation, right? We might... That's it. What do you think? That's cooking. Okay. <laughs> what do you think, Bob? Well, I think we're just going to cook it probably for about... I'd say we're going to check it out until it gets nice and golden and... You know, bubbly hot, and we'll see how she looks. Three, uh, three and a quarter, 350. 350 of them. Be right back. All right, Daddy Jack's cooking with the blues. I'm making a fresh heirloom tomato salad again. I'm gonna serve it with that ricotta cheese, ricotta heirloom tomato cheese pie. Huntsbrook Farms. Digger and his wife, Teresa. They grow the most amazing produce you're ever going to find in the world. Okay? So here's our pie. Ricotta tomato cheese pie. Ricotta tomato bacon cheese pie. Okay? So we got to wait. we got to wait a little while to let it cool down so we can have before we're going to eat it. All right? But looking pretty good, right, Bob? Oh, yeah, it looks great. Hey, Jack's going with the blues. Bob Jacko. Without Bob, it wouldn't be Daddy Jack's Good with the Blues up here on YouTube. Let's not forget that. Right, Bob? That's right. We're all good at what we do. All right, appreciate it. Peace out. Chapman's Restaurant, 165 Bank Street in London, Connecticut. Nephew Josh. Joshua Romano Morosi in the back. Gaspar Stantic in the house. Sister Pam out there. Peace. Welcome back to Daddy Jack's Cook with the Blues. We got a ricotta, heirloom, tomato, bacon, cheese pie. It's a lot, it's a, lot uh, it's, it's a mouthful, even a bigger mouthful when you dig into it. Okay, so, you know, I don't know. Might need to set up a little longer, but. Gosh, you grab me a fork. It's kind of a creation, kind of like a quiche. Mm. Oh, what do you think, Bob? Let's give it a taste. We don't have a fork, Josh. No. I put a little bit of red pepper flake in there for the heat. Wow. Tomatoes didn't overcook. I think optimally, optimally you want to probably get it nice and cool maybe room temperature, but it's delicious. And uh, thank you to Huntsbrook Farms, Digga and Teresa. Love what you're doing over there. The produce you supply us. Farmers first, chefs second. Customers, you know, uh, we got we to show the respect for the farmers, because without them, we're nowhere. Daddy Jack's going to Blues. Try the ricotta pie. Heirloom tomato ricotta bacon cheese pie. Peace.